As of July 24th, 2007, the minimum wage was raised to $5.85 an hour and would go on to rise to $6.55 in 2018 and $7.25 an hour in 2019 to the present. The reason why it went up throughout these years but it stopped now is because of the Great Recession from 2008 to 2009, with inflation currently being a reason why it should increase once again. When it comes to consensus, experts typically choose one of three estimates of what they think minimum wage should be. First, some believe that roughly $9 an hour is enough of a raise, but statistics show with only that much of an increase, families especially would be on average shorted $2,080 a year, which is better than the current minimum wage, but not by much and can cause them to still struggle. Other estimates by experts involve the $10 an hour and $15 an hour. Now one of the most agreed on is $10 an hour. This is because the former is enough on average to provide for low income families that are working on minimum wage. Not only this, but $10 an hour is enough of a jump to where it's expected that barely any business will have to lay off workers or close. However, when it comes to the $15 an hour, the jump is more likely to cause layoffs and closure for business. Many people are affected as there are clear racial differences when it comes to raising the federal minimum wage. A large majority of African Americans and Hispanics have voted to raise the wage, while 54% of white people vote against raising it. Almost half of the 2.6 million hourly workers are ages 16 to 24, and out of all the industries, uh, the food industry is the largest employer of minimum wage workers. Overall, even though the minimum wage has raised from 585 to 725 from 2007 to 2009, based on statistics and how the economy and inflation is going, it's debatable on whether it should be the same or not. But the current consensus is starting to float towards a $10 an hour, which should be just enough to support families or individuals on low income, relying on minimum wage, and just enough to the point where not too many businesses will have to lay off workers in the long run.